Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a very special Supergirl video for you guys. We're going to be going over some deleted scenes and some big changes that Supergirl made in their pilot episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I did a Flash video on this like a couple months ago, and now I'm finally getting around to doing my Supergirl video, so hopefully you enjoy it. I'll leave the link to the website in the description below that we're going to be like reading over and going over because it shows major differences between the regular TV version of the pilot that we saw for episode 1 and also the pre-air version. So if you guys don't know what a pre-air version is, it's something that they send out to like critics, they send out to like people in the network and it's not a final cut of the episode and basically there's big alterations that can be made between the pre-air version and the one we actually see you know like the official final cut published version that airs on TV so there is 67 differences from these versions most of them are extended scenes but there are some removed scenes I think that's what you guys are going to be mainly interested in and also there's some like alternate dialogue there's alternate footage there is extended scenes in the TV version then the pre air version some stuff has been cut down so there is like a bunch of different changes and I thought it would be an interesting video for us to go over and talk about this because obviously there's not much Supergirl news coming out as of right now we do have Superman Lois on right now which is super exciting I wasn't able to make a video this week but that reveal was crazy and I can't wait to actually get back to talking about Superman Lois in the next episode because that twist just kind of blew my mind so that is Supergirl related and we're gonna be getting into that when the next episode airs but for now let's go ahead and get into this Supergirl video okay so the first major change in the episode was a remove scene that had alternate footage meaning that what they had they had extra footage they shot like a bunch of extra scenes or like different angles and what they did they removed what they used in the pre-air version to the one that they actually used in the official pilot and so there is like a slight change in how long the scene runs and so only in the pre-air version of the pilot does it show Kara's mom hanging an amulet around Kara's neck and so this was changed and you can see on the screen right here this was actually not in the episode I don't know if you guys remember but if you go back and watch pilot you'll see this wasn't there and it's a little bit different although the scene does play out in a very similar way it is a slightly different change okay so another big change was another alternate use of footage so they shot two angles in the TV version they showed this right here where you see Kara's mum kissing Kara on the forehead but in the pre-air version you see the opposite angle that they shot with Kara's mum kissing Kara on the forehead but you see Kara instead of her mum so that is a slight change that we had in terms of footage and I think that was like a pretty significant change although it didn't change like the rhythm of the show so let's move on so like I mentioned before most of the stuff that was changed is actually extended scenes so that means they're adding on like half a second a second longer a second shorter you know half a second shorter like small little changes that you won't really notice because this is all in the editing but like this shot of Kara when she's actually in her pod and she leans back into the pod the end of the shot is half a second longer and throughout this video I'm not going to be going over all of these tiny little changes where they've extended the footage because really at the end of the day when you watch the episode it's pretty much going to stay and play out in a very similar way even if there is a few frames difference and so you can just go check out the website, you can see all those extended scenes and although we're not going to go over them, we will go over some but we'll go over mainly like the deleted stuff and the stuff that was longer than like one or two seconds, you know. So in this next one, we see Kara on Earth as she is greeted by Eliza and so this is an extended scene which is extended for a longer period of duration which is like one second to two seconds long and then we cut to present day we have Kara in Kat's office and when Kara is talking to Kat one of Kat's comments is longer so she also says I realize that there are quite a few and then you guys can watch the episode basically in this this is like two to three seconds longer and 
what you will get in these kind of deleted scenes and like alternate versions of episodes is you will have those longer pieces of dialogue that they've trimmed down in the edit if they realize after oh we don't need this and so this was in regards to Kat's terms of termination letters that Kara is supposed to write so I don't know if you guys recall that scene but essentially Kat talks a tiny bit longer okay so let's move on past this so there's like a bunch of extended scenes also especially when Kara is stopping the plane because there are lots of shots and it's this big kind of action scene however there is one removed scene as Kara becomes Supergirl and she flies into the sky for the first time trying to stop Alex's plane from crashing and so there was an entirely removed scene so there is two missing shots in the TV version first is Kara which you can see on the screen here this is her flying through the sky in the night and then the second one was like a different angle of the plane with Alex on board and so it's kind of significant when you get these shots where you actually see like the main actor being completely removed because it is like an alternate thing that we haven't seen and that you would have expected to be in the episode but you don't realize until you know afterwards and you see the comparison that you're like oh we missed out on this but yeah we missed out on this one scene and then actually in the cockpit so there is another removed scene where the TV version lacks an interior shot of the cockpit what you can see on the screen right here is two pilots and they're saying we're going down I repeat we're going down so what they did when they shot the episode they shot that stuff inside the cockpit but in the episode they didn't show it they just really showed Kara on the outside stopping the plane the plane in the air or just Kara flying towards it and so there are just like many many changes as you'll see when you read it on the website that are kind of like small little changes to the way that this scene played out a lot of it has just been streamlined so that the scene plays a bit faster okay let's move back into Kara's apartment after this scene where Alex is safe Kara's hair is wet and so there's an extended scene in the TV version and so the shot of Kara following the question what were you thinking is one frame longer that means like literally one frame which is like 0.5 seconds this you can see on the screen right here is nothing significant but I just want to point out the scenes that are like extended where you see our main characters because I think you guys are interested in that and so also in the reverse angle of this you get Alex as she is talking to Kara and so in addition to this the subsequent shot of Kara's sister begins a little earlier and it's like one second longer overall and then we have an entire remove scene I think this is the most significant change we saw in this episode so what happens and we're gonna have the images rolling on the screen right now but this is as Kara gets into Catco she gets back to work and she walks across several rooms while the TV report about Supergirl saving the plane is playing in the background and in the pre-air version of the episode the scene continues and Hayashi or however you pronounce his name starts speaking from her from behind he thanks her for giving him a hand with his work Kara says it was her pleasure she turns around and keeps walking and so I don't remember this specific character maybe he was in the pilot I can't remember but this deleted scene was a big deleted scene it was like 12 seconds long that is a significant portion that they cut out because they shot like an entire scene with these two different characters and that's like one whole setup and if you guys know how long it takes to set up a setup it takes a long time it takes like hours to set up so this is important and as you've seen you can see Kara as she's talking to him she's kind of like slowly walking through the office kind of like awkward like and then this guy is thanking her and then she kind of walks off so yeah that's a bit different and then we move on to the villains of the episode so we have some alternate footage in the TV version we see Vartox right here but in the pre-air version we see the commander that he is working with and in the pre-air version you see less of Vartox and you see more of the commander and Vartox doesn't come until a bit after but the dialogue stays the same another removed scene from the episode was this car chase and so the TV version lacks the first shot of the car chase that you can see on the screen right here this very much so looks like LA obviously this looks very different from the Vancouver landscape however you have to acknowledge that Supergirl did film in LA for its first season with CBS 
and so this scene is like one to two seconds long so it's quite significant this is the start of the chase scene with Kara you know testing out her self and being Supergirl okay let's go back to the pre-air version so this is a bit later in the episode where Supergirl is confronting Vartox you can see on the screen right here this is slightly different from the shot we saw and this was entirely removed from the episode this is like two to three seconds so it's quite significant and Kara in this line says what does it have to do with her and I forgot what that's in reference to however she is talking to Vartox and we did see this and this is like just before she goes and flies after him like punches him so yeah that's kind of different okay let's move on nearer towards the end of the episode we have Alex going to visit Kara and Kara is all crying and she's very upset about what has happened and so in the pre air version Kara wipes the tears off her face at the end of the shot this wasn't seen in the TV version this is very very important because obviously this is her getting very emotional she's upset Alex is comforting her and so this is like one to two seconds long and yeah so that was like a kind of big difference that they made throughout the ending okay so pretty much that is the end of all the changes in the pilot episode Overall, the TV version is about 32 seconds longer, which, when you look at it, like, imagine if there was this huge scene, and they cut half of it off, like, say there was a one minute shot, and they cut, like, half of it in half, like, say they cut half of a fight scene in half, obviously that is very important, and so this is just, like, little changes here and there that change the flow of the episode, and there are some important bits that were missed, like Kara wiping her tears off her face, or the remove scene in Catco, so it's all slightly different, and we probably won't notice much differences, but I highly recommend after this video, you go back and you watch the pilot to go check out these differences and compare it with the website, which I'll link in the description below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it would really help out, and make sure to watch every video, I know I haven't been uploading as much in the last week or so, however I am trying to get back to it, I've just been very very busy, and for now, can't wait for more Superman Lois, Flash is on next week as well, so please be sure to stick around, always remember my review for the Flash comes out straight away after the episode airs, and my Superman Lois video comes out just a few hours after in the next day. But for now, please be sure to click on the top right corner of the screen if you want to watch my latest video. But I'll leave you guys here for now, so I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.